This is a review of the Ustar R7. And this is why it's the best bang for buck dual bay NAS on the market. It has two USB 2.0s, two USB 3.2s, a DisplayPort 1.4, a HDMI 2.1, it has a micro SD slot, a USB 3.2 type C slot, two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports, and the headphone jack. As you can see, the Ustar R1 outperforms the two most popular NAS devices that are comparable, and it's cheaper. It has a better processor, more RAM, a higher RAM maximum, and it comes with more storage for the operating system. The QNAP has four gigabytes of storage and the Synology makes a partition on the hard drives that you install while the Ustar comes with a 512 gigabyte NVMe hard drive. Also, the Ustar has way more IO ports. Since it comes with Windows 11 installed, you can use this NAS as a standalone PC. However, I recommend installing a dedicated NAS operating system such as Open Media Vault or Casa OS. This is the operating system Casa OS. It's really nice because you can see all your hard drives really easily. You could easily shut up the file share by going in here, right clicking share. It gives you the URLs to the share. And the cool thing is this has Docker built in. So you could download all your apps through here easily. One click, you just press install and it installs it. And the main reason I'm saying you should get a server is because you could just get so much functionality out of it. You could get Home Assistant, which is a, one of the most popular platforms for home automation. You could get Vault Warden, which is a password manager that you host locally. You can get Plex, which is a streaming service for movies and shows that you have downloaded. You can literally get anything. There's a Docker container for mostly about everything possible. I'm currently, I'm even running a server for a Pal World right now. Removing the magnetic top reveals access to the hard drive base. They support 2.5 and 3.5 inch hard drives. Once you lift the plastic, you could pull out the whole hard drive caddy. Then you could attach your hard drive of choice. I have two 18 terabyte hard drives currently. Ustar states it supports 20 terabytes for each hard drive bay. Ustar states that two 20 terabyte hard drives are supported. There are four rubber pieces covering the screws at the bottom. Remove them to have access to the screws. Once you remove the bottom four screws, you can remove the outer shell of the NAS. Once you open it, you get access to all the hardware inside. You can replace the included NVMe hard drive or add a second one. It has replaceable dual channel RAM with a maximum capacity of 64 gigabytes. It also has a replaceable Wi-Fi card and it has a nice heat sink and fan on the other side for cooling. Overall, I really recommend getting this NAS. This isn't just a storage solution for your home. It's also a server that you can run many utilities out of to improve your life. 